What's up everyone? We're back with another epic video of Game of Thrones by Telltale Games, which is an amazing game so far. In the last video, what happened was really sad. It was a tragedy. You know, uh, his dad and his sister and his entire family is gone. And I guess we're fixing up his leg. Now we're just going to go right in to check out what's going to happen next. Alright, we're still in episode 1. We're going to continue. Alright, All right, we're back Thank here you. and we're going to be walking or trying to go around. Let's tap on this one. Medical supplies. Let's pick that up. Now let's pick up everything. The herbs. I don't even know what's there. What? This might help. Yes, that will help. And I don't know if I want to pick up the bucket. All right, never mind. Forget it. Okay, let's back out. Tap here to back out. All right, let's go towards the picture. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine. Let's draw Tengren. Look, I'll show you. All right, let's look at this thing. The painting. Let's look at the guy with the axe. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh boy. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. They're going to really take their time explaining this, aren't they? She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Alright, last two. Lord Forrester. There was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. And the last guy. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. All right, let's get out of there. Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. All right, let's tap on the chair. The other chair window. The Ironwood Grove. Alright, talk to the maester when you're finished exploring. Alright, let's get out of here then. Let's get out of here. Just like an RPG game. Let's talk to him. Talk to. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. All right, a lot of questions here, uh, I guess. Then last, who's the new lord? Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn. Yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. 
Oh god, he's not happy, is he? Can I see Ethan? Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. I'm gonna be honest, why do we feel why do I feel we are the bad guy? Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. All right, let's keep on Why pushing this. Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. All right, let's leave. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. No doubt he's tired, my lady. He said Lord Forrester was valiant to the end. And what of Roderick? He was with you as well. I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Roderick will certainly be missed. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan. This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royal. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. 
I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But well, where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand, but you must think of the house. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. You know, I used to. I was gonna say that other guy's the bad guy, but now I feel this guy's a bad guy. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed. What is this? Never. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I've told no one. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. What? I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. I don't know what to say if it's depressing or we're going to become a hero. Alright, let's take it. Be safe. And we're off on our, to our journey. You know, I think we're pretty much we're gonna die somehow, or maybe we'll come become like a superhero. All right, you know what? That will be it for this video. We'll continue on in the next video as we s 
head towards the war zone or wherever we're supposed to go.